That's some breaking news uh, from Pfizer that may have helped uh, the averages. Meg Terrell, uh, I don't know what it is exactly yet, but Meg Terrell has more on this. I'm trying to see how this relates to COVID. I guess if it's antibody research, maybe it's applicable. Is that it, Meg? It's as applicable as it gets, Joe. It's Pfizer and BioNTech's COVID-19 vaccine phase one, two results. They just posted online on a preprint server, meaning they've submitted it to a journal. They haven't yet been peer reviewed. Uh, but these results show in this early stage trial, looking at 24 patients on two lower doses of this vaccine, all 24 generated neutralizing antibodies. Those are the important ones that stop the virus from being able to infect cells. And they saw that at levels 1.8 to 2.8 times what you would see in patients who've recovered from COVID-19. In terms of the safety, they said they did see some fever, but no serious adverse events. And they saw the higher dose uh, wasn't any better in terms of the immunogenicity data than the lower ones. So that's why they continued with these two lower doses. Uh, so guys, some positive news this morning for both Pfizer and Biogen. BioNTech in the race to a vaccine. Weird, because I, I thought Pfizer just said they weren't going to release anything until they published it in a, in a journal. But this seems like an early release of some, uh, uh, of some data. Yeah, they've submitted to a journal, uh, and now they've submitted it online okay. so folks All can right. see the data. 24 out of 24, and, and pretty good potency if it's 1.8 to 2.8. Thank you, Meg. That, that probably is responsible for what we're seeing here.